Everyone pointed out this photo and they were like, this happened like a couple days after the chef passed away. Oh, yeah. Two feet. He's six feet tall, the water's eight feet, and he can't go up two feet. What's going on here in this story? And, it- and that is, there was another girlfriend that he had whose letters with Barack were produced to you. A thought-provoking remark found within Sharice Campbell's Instagram post brings to the forefront the profound significance of the circumstances encompassing the lamentable passing of Tafari Campbell. Yet what unfolds is a web of intrigue interconnecting Campbell's demise with a conspiracy involving the Obamas. Is there substance to the notion that Campbell possessed undisclosed information about the shadowed aspects of the Obama family, prompting a desire to silence him? That's what we're going to find out in today's video. But of course, before I spill anything, make sure first that you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for more updates and videos like this. Now, let's dive in. Now, a tragic story involving a close friend of the Obama family. The person who left a comment couldn't believe what happened and felt really upset. They said that the places where U.S. presidents live should be the safest and most secure because they are important. They thought that these places should have lots of safety measures so that anyone who visits is very safe. The commenter wanted everyone involved to be known, and they wanted to see all the insurance details and answers to all the questions. They said that just saying it was an accident is not enough. They also sent a nice message to Sharice, telling her that they are there for her and hoping she stays strong. Another comment on Sharice Campbell's Instagram post showed sympathy for Tafari Campbell's family and friends. The person who commented remembered Tafari and said he was loved by everyone who met him. They talked about how he was really good at cooking and how his kindness made the food he cooked special. They hoped that Tafari's legacy would always be remembered and that his loved ones would find comfort even though he was gone. People are really curious about the mysterious silence around Tafari Campbell's demise. When important people like celebrities have said things happened to them, the public wants to know everything, even private things. This is happening with Tafari Campbell, who used to be the cook for former U.S. President Barack Obama. Anybody who was paying attention that Barack Obama had a strange and highly creepy personal life, yet nobody ever asked him about it. The unexpected passing of Tafari Campbell has grabbed the attention of many and sparked curiosity due to the noticeable silence from his wife, Sharice Campbell. Tafari's role extended beyond the kitchen. He was an essential part of the Obama household. His culinary expertise wasn't just about cooking meals, but resembled an artist crafting history and dreams on a plate. The flavors he brought to life were as intricate as the relationships he nurtured. With his sudden departure, a veil of mystery shrouds the situation. Why does Sharice Campbell, once a renowned figure in the culinary world herself, remain so quiet about the circumstances of Tafari's demise? Adding to this enigma, Tafari tragically drowned while paddleboarding in a pond near the Obama's residence in Martha's Vineyard. Officials confirmed the heartbreaking news, revealing that Tafari Campbell's body was found submerged in eight feet of water approximately 100 feet from the shoreline of the Obama's property on Edgartown Great Pond. The discovery was made around 10 a.m. on a fateful Monday, with sonar scanners from a boat playing a crucial role in locating his body. Notably, the Obamas were not at home when this tragic event unfolded. Tafari's connection with the Obamas was deep-rooted, He started as an assistant chef in the White House kitchen during Barack Obama's presidency. Due to his exceptional culinary skills and dedication, he was chosen to remain part of the Obama's personal team even after his presidential term ended. Obama expressed his sorrow over the loss, calling Tafari a beloved member of their family. Sharice Campbell, Tafari's wife, mourns not only her husband's passing, but also the void in their family, including their twin sons, Xavier and Sabin. Over the weekend, she took to Instagram to share a heartfelt message in memory of her late husband. Accompanying a joyful picture of Tafari in the kitchen, she wrote, My heart is broken. My life and our family's life is forever changed. Please pray for me and our families as I deal with the loss of my husband. Charisse, the owner of Sweet Sage, a well-known baking and catering business, recently shared that their services will be temporarily paused due to a family tragedy. In a later message, she mentioned, We're not able to take any new requests or orders at the moment. We appreciate your understanding and patience during this tough period. We'll let you know when we're back in service. 
This whole situation reminds us of how fragile life is and how personal tragedies can deeply affect even those who are in the public eye. The sadness that comes with losing a husband is evident and personal, especially for someone like Sharice, who is known to many. However, some things about Tafari's passing, like his swimming ability, haven't been addressed by Sharice in her posts. This absence of information has sparked various speculations and conspiracy theories on social media. Sharice and Tafari had 20 years of a happy marriage, and it's interesting that she didn't talk about or clarify the growing doubts about how her husband passed away. This silence has made people even more curious, making them wonder if there's more to the story than what's apparent. And then a video appeared with him on Twitter. He knows how to uh, swim, uh, Pat. He's so this is him swimming. That's pretty solid to swim like that. That's backstroke. That he... Initial reports from officials painted a troubling picture. They were alerted to a potential drowning incident on Turkey Land Cove Road one Sunday evening. Adding complexity to this already puzzling situation is the presence of an unidentified individual who was paddleboarding with Tafari during the incident. This person's account reveals a distressing scene. Tafari, a father of two, appeared to struggle in the water, fighting intensely before being engulfed by the depths. What confounds many is why this person, who was close by, didn't step in to help Tafari, especially considering Tafari's reputation as an experienced swimmer. The truth behind Obama's late chef's wife being silent on his death. When famous people or important folks go through personal things, even those parts of their lives that are private can interest the public. Take the case of Tafari Campbell. The identity of the second paddleboarder and the person who called 911 remains unknown. Authorities have been quiet, suggesting an ongoing investigation that hasn't produced definite answers. This raises the question, does Sharice know more about this tragic event than the public does? Her silence, particularly about Tafari's well-documented swimming skills, is causing concern. A quick look at Tafari's Instagram reveals numerous posts displaying his skill in the water. A lot of different media outlets said the fact that he didn't know how to swim. Matter of fact, there was a post of Instagram of him hashtag still don't know how to swim or something like that. I don't yeah. know if you saw that. Yeah. Or not. Nonetheless, Sharice has chosen to express her grief without addressing the doubts and questions that are swirling around. Could it be that Sharice fears potential consequences from authorities? Is she deliberately withholding information because she's worried about the outcomes of revealing too much? Or is she possibly facing external pressure to stay silent? Tafari Campbell's heartbreaking passing has created an emptiness in many lives. Yet the lingering queries and the puzzles surrounding his death persist. Sharice's silence only deepens the enigma. Whispers suggest that both Sharice and Tafari might have been aware of undisclosed secrets concerning the Obama family. Some believe this knowledge might have played a role in Tafari's tragic death, and it's even theorized to be the reason for Sharice's conspicuous silence on the matter. An Instagram video gaining significant attention suggests, although without solid evidence, that Tafari might have been working on a revealing book about the Obamas. Another video circulating online raises the notion of Tafari being found with head injuries in the shallow waters near the Obama estate. However, Sharice has yet to confirm or dismiss these allegations. Given Sharice's close relationship with Tafari, many expect her to provide insight into these swirling speculations. Yet her choice to remain quiet, aside from expressing her grief, has caused surprise and fueled more conjecture. Adding to the intrigue is the tragic passing of another White House chef, Walter Scheib. He served two U.S. presidents for 11 years, seven under Bill Clinton and four during George W. Bush's administration. Chef Scheib's unfortunate drowning in New Mexico has sparked conspiracy theories online, with internet detectives drawing parallels between the mysterious circumstances surrounding the deaths of these two chefs, both of whom worked in the White House kitchens. Don Luker, a respected journalist, used Twitter to share his worries and ask probing questions about the circumstances of Tafari's death. Through a series of tweets, Don Luker shared his thoughts, noting that the chef who tragically drowned on the Obama property was supposedly using a paddleboard that belonged to the former president. Luker questioned why the safety straps weren't used and pointed out that the video footage indicated the chef had more than beginner level swimming skills. He also alluded to rumors suggesting that Tafari faced difficulties during his time with the Obamas, with some claiming Michelle Obama had been particularly demanding of him. 
The truth remains hidden, with only Sharice Campbell having the potential to reveal the answers surrounding her husband's passing. Online platforms are abuzz with theories and conjectures as internet users voice their doubts and suspicions. One user suggested that Sharice should demand a thorough autopsy and a comprehensive investigation unless she has concerns about the Obamas. Another tweet questioned the narrative around Tafari's swimming abilities, highlighting that the chef reportedly drowned near the Obama residence despite reports indicating he couldn't swim. Yet there's evidence of him swimming in the Bahamas. As the online community grapples with these unanswered questions, the truth remains obscured by mystery. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos like this.